The Remote User Interface, often referred to as the RUI, is a web interface to the MFD that can be accessed by entering the IP address or host name of the device into a web browser. The RUI can be used to set up the machine, check the consumables, or check the status of jobs. Often it is easier to configure some options from your desk rather than standing in front of the device. If you're unsure of the IP address, you can check this on the device by pressing the counter check button. Depending on the configuration of the device, the IP address will be shown on screen. When you enter the IP address of the machine, you will be prompted to log in. The login mechanism will depend on the configuration of your machine. Here are two common login mechanisms. This is the default login. A guest can log in without entering any details, however they will have limited functionality when logging in. To log in as an administrator, enter your administration credentials. If the machine is running Uniflow as a login method, you will be able to enter your username and password or username and PIN to log in. At installation time, the default login credentials would have been supplied. Check with your IT department on how to log in and the login credentials. Once logged in, you will see an overview of the machine configuration with the device status and consumable levels. Running down the right of the screen are a number of buttons to access various functions. Depending on your security setting, some options may not be available to you. I'm going to show you a couple of common settings. Status Monitor allows you to view the jobs that are waiting to print or send. Here there is nothing showing as there are no jobs currently running. I can also access detailed information on any errors. Here you can see that there is no paper loaded. I can check which drawer is empty by selecting the consumables button. Here I can see that drawer 4 is empty. To return to the main screen, use the To Portal link. The address book allows you to manage the machine's address book for email addresses and fax numbers. There are a number of address books depending on your configuration. Here we are going to edit the standard global address list and add a new entry. Scroll down and select address list 1. From the buttons, click register new destination. As we are going to be entering an email address, we do not need to change the type. However, if we were going to be entering a file location, we can change the type here. Enter the name and email address. We can now use this address book entry from the control panel. If you are using one-touch keys, you can also edit these in the address list one-touch. Scroll down and select the address list one-touch. Select the free button and add the appropriate details. You can now use this one-touch from the control panel. If you are using department ID, you can create department ID users through the RUI. Set copy limits and download the usage report. To do this, you need to be logged in as a system manager. Click Settings Registration, User Management, Department ID Management. Here you can see the current configuration. To add users, select the Register New Department button. Enter the new department ID, the PIN, and confirm the PIN. If you want to set limits for the department, you can set those here. Click OK when done. To export the usage data, click the Store and CSV button. When you have completed work in the RUI, don't forget to log out.